Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be going over the lean assist feature in the G1000 NXI mod. So if you wanna know more about how to properly adjust the mixture for your aircraft, then I think you should stay tuned for today's episode of 2020 Flight Simmers. Welcome to the cockpit of the beautiful G36, and we are using the improvement mod for this. Links will be down below in the description. If you don't have the G1000 NXI mod, where you been? Head over to the marketplace and pick that up right now and swing on back over. While you're doing that, everyone else, go down below and hit that subscribe button and tick that little bell because you don't want to miss any future episodes and smash on that thumbs up button. Before we get into the G1000, we first need to go over some terminology that we're going to be going over during this tutorial. So the first bit of terminology we're going to be using is called lean of peak cruise. So at approximately 10 to 50 degrees below peak EGT, EGT stands for exhaust gas temperature. On the lean side, the engine operates with its best fuel economy. A lower fuel burn rate is achieved at a lower temperature because all of the cylinders should be lean of peak for the best fuel economy. So the last cylinder to peak EGT, that will be the coldest cylinder, is used as reference for leaning. That's going to be very, very important when we get into the lean assist feature of the G1000 NXI. So if we take a look at this chart over here on the right, so be mindful that the mixture is rich on the right and lean over here on the left. So lean of peak is gonna be on this side of your peak EGT. So here would be your peak EGT. Here is gonna be the lean side of peak EGT and that is gonna be your best fuel economy. The next piece of terminology that we're gonna go over is called rich peak of cruise. So this is at approximately 75 to 125 degrees below peak EGT on the rich side, the engine develops its maximum amount of power. A lower combustion temperature results from additional fuel in the cylinder from ram air entering the cowling at a higher speed. The first cylinder to reach peak EGT, the hottest cylinder should be used as reference for leaning. In knowing that, the G1000 NXI for the lean assist feature only monitors the first cylinder to reach peak EGT. So the lean assist feature is not gonna do you much good. If you wanna try to use it for lean of peak cruise mixture setting. But we will go over a little workaround once we get the aircraft fired up. So let's take a look at the graph over here on the right before we start anything up. So when we start the aircraft on the ground in its richest state, the exhaust gas temperature is going to be the lowest. The reason for that is we are introducing more fuel than is needed for the engine to operate. Therefore, that excess fuel is cooling down the cylinder walls and creating a lower exhaust gas temperature. As we lean out the mixture, the temperature starts to rise as we get closer and closer to a more perfect burn. As we climb up this ladder of leaning out the mixture, we will eventually get to a point at which the exhaust gas temperature reaches its hottest point. If we continue to lean that mixture out, what will happen is the exhaust gas temperature will then start to fall again. Now the reason for the fall in temperature this time is not because of excess fuel, it is now because of excess air. There is now more air running through that system than is needed, so it is now cooling the cylinder down. Now you might think that this is great because we're using less fuel, but here's what happens when you continue to lean that mixture, is you will then start to create detonation. You could cause cylinder failure. So just keep that in mind, and that may or may not be modeled in the planes in the simulator. But again, for the lean assist feature, we are not gonna be setting this for best economy. We are always gonna be using for best power. 
Alright, so now that we got some power going in the plane, let's hop over here to the MFD and we're going to show you how to use the assist feature of the G1000. So to get to the menu to be able to use the lean assist, we first need to come down and hit the very left hand lower soft key button on the G1000. It will bring up the lean menu here. At that point we can hit the soft key for the lean menu and it will now display our exhaust gas temperatures up at the top and our cylinder head temperatures down at the bottom. So some people may ask what is cylinder head temperature used for and that is also used for mixture but not as much as the exhaust gas. The rule of thumb here is that we don't want the cylinder head temperature to exceed I believe it's 380 degrees. We can control the cylinder head temperature a little bit with our cowling. So some planes may be equipped with that and some may not. So what I need to do right now is to increase the throttle so that we can get the exhaust gas temperature to start to increase. But before I do that, I need to explain when you may or may not want to adjust for proper mixture before you even leave the ground. So if you're at an airport that is above 3000 feet MSL, then you probably want to set your power setting, your optimal power mixture setting on the ground before takeoff. If you are under 3000 feet MSL, then you should not have to go through that process and you can just take off in a full rich state. At this point, what I'm going to do is assume that we are either on the ground or you are in the air at your cruising altitude. So once you get to your cruising altitude, you are then going to adjust your manifold and RPM for your best cruise settings. Now some of you may be asking, what are the best cruise settings? Well, glad you asked because we're going to show you that right now. On the screen I have a PDF document of the POH cruise and pa recommended power settings for the Beechcraft Bonanza 36. Now this is for the A36, but I assume that it will probably be okay for the G36. As you look down, each of these are going to give you different cruise and economy power settings. It's going to give us both lean and rich settings in these charts. The one thing that you will notice on these charts is that we no longer are using the Fahrenheit temperature. We are using Celsius. And these charts are all based on a 20 degree Celsius rich or lean. Okay, so keep that in mind when we're adjusting the G1000 as the G1000 is already set up for Celsius. So all you need to do is to scroll through these and find the power setting that you wish to use. Each of them are slightly different as this one is 23 inch pounds and 2300 RPM. It seems to be that is the more common power setting to use. Again, we're only going to be focusing on the rich power settings as the lean power setting is not going to be capable of using the lean assist feature in the G1000. So to figure out what you are going to be using for that flight is you will first come down and find the altitude in which you are at. And then if you look over here to the right, it will give you your optimal manifold pressure. To the right of that is going to also give us the gallon per hour fuel flow and I must say that this is pretty accurate to what we get here in the plane. To the right of that there are some indicated air speeds that you can expect. So if anybody has any questions while we were going along here today, please make sure you post that down below in the comments section and I will get right back to you as soon as possible. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is to get our EGT to register on the G1000. So we've got to increase our throttle. So I'm just going to increase the throttle here to about 20 inch pounds and make sure, let's make sure we got the brake on here. Yep. So, and make sure you got your brake on, especially if you're on the ground. So after we've increased the throttle, over here on the left, we can see that our temperature graph has started to come to life for our EGT. Now the G1000 is already going to pick the first cylinder to reach peak EGT and that is the number one cylinder here highlighted in blue. Underneath of that gives us the EGT temperature in Celsius of that one cylinder. So keep that in mind. The other thing that I wanted to stress to you and one of the little quirks about the assist feature 
of the G1000 is that you must always be on the rich side of peak here for before you activate the assist feature. You never want to activate the assist feature if you were already at peak EGT. A good rule of thumb is to just richen your mixture up and then activate your assist feature. I want to show you another little tip as we move on in the tutorial about how you can do that once you're in the air because you may not want to richen your mixture all the way up to full rich. Once you're at your cruising altitude and you have set your manifold and your RPM, we will then come down here and hit the assist button. When we do, we are going to notice a little peak indicator here and it's Celsius temperature. Now at this point, what we want to do is start leaning out our mixture. Now you want to make sure that you do this slow and not too fast because what can happen if you go too fast while you're leaning your mixture is that it can actually lean it out faster than the engine can actually catch up to the desired mixture setting. And at that point, you will get a plus in the Celsius number here. You will actually have a plus here instead of a minus. You should always have a minus number in that Celsius reading. Again, if you have plus, that means you went too fast. So all you need to do is just richen it up and start again. Now you will know that we have hit peak EGT for whatever cylinder has hit it because you will notice below the EGT temperature we have a minus six degrees Celsius delta here. All right, so that tells us that we have hit peak EGT. But because we kept leaning it out, as you can see, if we continue leaning it, the temperature will continue to drop. So if we bring our chart back up here again, that means that we have already exceeded our peak EGT. And we are now on the downside of that because we are continuing to lean out the mixture. So again, what we want to do is set the power setting on this side. So to get back there, all we need to do is to richen up that mixture just a bit. And you're going to see the delta peak start to decrease in temperature all the way up till we get to about zero degrees. And that is our peak exhaust gas temperature. And if we continue to richen it up, we are now coming down on the rich side of the peak. So I really hope that explains everything properly and I hope you understand what I'm getting at here. If you have any questions again, make sure you post those down below in the comments. So now here's another caveat to this. Let's say you were already at your cruising altitude. You've got everything set in here, but you want to change your power setting. Anytime that you're going to change your power setting, it is going to change your peak exhaust gas temperature reading. So we're going to show you what to do right now if you were to change your power setting in the air. So we're going to reduce our power setting down to about 18 inches. I am just using this for testing purposes only. So the next thing that we need to do is to turn off the assist feature. Because we are starting fresh again, we need to reset everything and restart the assist feature. Now keep in mind, I have not touched the mixture at all since we reduced power. But the problem is I have no idea now where I'm at here on this mountain, so to speak. Am I on the rich side or the lean side of peak? At this point, I don't know. So here's what we're going to do. Remember, you don't want to lean out your mixture at any point. You want to richen it up. So all we got to do is to start richening up our mixture and you can see the temperature of the EGT just started to drop. So that means if we're richening up the mixture, remember, we'll be going on this way. If we richen up the mixture and the temperature is dropping, that means that we are on this side of peak. Now, I really leaned out the mixture to show you what I'm talking about here. So if we start richening it up now and you see, oh, the temperature is increasing while I'm richening this. That means as we're going this way on the chart here, the temperature is increasing to peak. 
So that lets us know that we are not yet at our peak EGT to start the assist feature again. Once we cross over peak, you're going to notice that the temperature is going to start dropping again. So that is a great indication of you are in the right area to activate the assist feature again. So just keep that in mind, and that's a great rule of thumb that all you need to do is to just start richening it up a little bit. If your exhaust gas temperature starts to drop, that tells you that you're already on this side of peak. At that point, we can just activate the assist and then start the leaning process one more time. Again, you want to make sure you go slow so you don't overshoot your max EGT temperature. But as soon as you get there, you can see now that our delta peak is minus 19 degrees, minus 20. That means I've actually overshot peak EGT because I kept leaning it out. So the temperature then started to fall. So all I need to do is to richen it up a bit. And you can see the peak delta is starting to drop all the way up until we get to peak EGT again. And once we get to peak EGT and continue to richen up the mixture, we will then be falling down on the rich side of peak. All right, so I did tell everyone that I was going to show you a little bit of a workaround that if you wanted to set for lean of peak cruise. I'm going to bring that up on the screen right here again and show you what this says. So at approximately 10 to 50 degrees below peak EGT on the lean side, the engine operates with its best fuel economy and you are going to be using the last cylinder to peak, which is the coldest as reference for leaning in this manner. All right, so let's show you how to use this in practice. So keep in mind, we are still going to be using the 20 degrees Celsius figure in our POH chart here for our recommended cruise power settings. But now we're going to be using the lean portion. All right, so at this point, what we want to do is to go completely rich on the mixture. Now, remember what I said, that we are not going to be using the assist feature anymore. So we can turn the lean assist feature off, and we're going to start leaning out our mixture. As we lean out the mixture and the temperatures start rising, you're going to notice one of these bar graphs here is going to be lower than all the other ones. And that's going to tell us that that is the coldest cylinder of all of them. That's the cylinder that we're going to be referencing on for using lean of peak cruise. So to select that cylinder, we're going to come right down here to the lower soft keys on the G1000 and hit the cylinder select. But number six is our lowest cylinder, and that's the one we're going to be referencing now. So we're going to continue leaning out the mixture until we get to peak EGT. Again, you want to go very slow at this point because you don't have the G1000 to catch when you do reach peak EGT. As you can see, it just went from 810 to 805, and that tells me right there we have reached peak EGT at 810. At this point, if we continue to lean out the mixture, we are now falling on the lean side of peak. So we are now over on this side of the peak EGT. So just remember, we only want to go minus 20 degrees. So we were at 810, minus 20 degrees would be 790. So we are just going to continue to lean out that mixture until we get to 790 degrees. It may be a little bit tricky to get there, but once you do, that is going to be your optimum best economy setting. But as you can see, this is a lot more difficult to try to get zoned in here only because you've got to be flying the plane also. You don't have time to be sitting here looking at this monitor. So as you can see, the G1000 Lean Assist feature can really help you out when you're trying to set your Rich of Peak cruise. So I think that's going to just about wrap us up for today. If anybody has any questions, remember to post those down below in the comments section. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe and tick that little bell. And smash on that thumbs up button is greatly appreciated. To all of my flight simmer friends around the world, keep the blue side up, and we will see everybody on the next one. Thanks for watching, everybody.